Growing up in the 90s, Ernest was everywhere. He had a TV show. Hey, Ernest! Hey, Ernest! Hey, Ernest, please! I'm on TV! He had dolls. He had tons of movies based in every situation that you can think of. The one that I remember the most was Ernest Goes to Jail, but Ernest Goes to Camp. Ernest Saves Christmas, Slam Dunk Ernest, Ernest Rides Again, Ernest in the Army. And if I had to say which one was the most memorable and most favorite for me, it is Scared Stupid. Let's see how you like a little Mia. Ernest Scared Stupid is not only the inspiration for Eminem's hit, The Real Slim Shady. May I have your attention, please? When it came to Halloween time, there was only one movie we knew we needed to cover. And here we are, Jim Varney, Ernest P. Worrell himself, holding it down for the horror fans and a good transition video to what's to come from our channel. Uh, boy, I sure hope you're from Giebler. As an adult, I have a great appreciation for it. But as a kid, I loved the slapstick humor. I loved seeing his multiple personalities, his like over-exaggerated expressions on his face. Like, you picked the wrong guy to tangle with. Squid lips. Everything that Jim Varney did as this character was brilliant. Before getting into the movie, I would like to address the elephant in the room. John looks way better in his outfit than I look in mine. The contrast is uneven and John looks great. I'm gonna Photoshop my head onto his body for the thumbnail. That's why you clicked this, I'm sure. Okay, booger lips. It's time for Troll Squish Kebab. Back in the day, Phineas Worrell was fighting trolls. He captured one and he chained it up and the troll casted a spell on the poor Worrell family. Phineas's descendants would get dumber and dumber and dumber. And then they planted a tree on top of the troll body. Here we are, several years later. So I assume hundreds of years. But then the old lady is alive, who was a child. So we can assume 60 years. And it's been just enough time for her to go on to play Catwoman, retire from acting, and become a crazy hermit lady. The first step in treehouse construction, which I'll refer to as step one, is tree selection. This one's nice. <laughs> Ernest loves to hang out with children all the time, which I feel personally is awkward as all shit, but he helps them build a tree house in this old oak that is definitely the perfect tree house tree, but they're on old lady Hackmore's property. Flee the fever place, flee! Kids and I built a tree house out there and she got real stained. You took Kenny and the kids out there trespassing on that old lady's <laughs> land. I wouldn't want to go into the creepiest area in my entire town and be like, this is where I want to hang out now. They're trying to get away from the Murdochs. Hey, where do you think you're going? The fun's just beginning. I would be so upset if they destroyed my haunted house. Yeah, it was an okay haunted house. It was made with boxes. What do you expect from children? It's not like it's Ernest making the haunted house. Yeah, Ernest, Ernest would kill it. Like they say that he's supposed to get dumber as a generation happened, he was making contraptions, inventions. In fact, he made the very first drone of all time. This is where Amazon got their whole idea for their drop shipment shit. There's the Simpsons gag and the Family Guy gag. I have never known when to quit. Just ask my fourth grade teacher. He never knew when to quit. We got a pizza thrower. Ammunition coming in, pepperoni and cheese. Looking into the IMDb trivia, those extra pizzas were from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. He gets compacted in the garbage like he's Shredder. The next fight will be Freak against Freak. He didn't turn into Super Ernest though. The troll turned into Super Troll later on, but not because of a compactor. Because he had all those little wooden dolls. <laughs> yeah, he reversed Pinocchio'd a ton of kids. That was his goal. So the troll has escaped from underneath this tree because silly Ernest was just mocking how you would get this troll to come back to life. When a Worrell places his hand on a tree and says, Yea, I call thee forth, Trantor. But what are the chances of that happening? 
troll comes back to life and now he has to collect kids and their little wooden dolls. He needs like five of them and he puts them in his tree and then he can sprout children. Which, if anyone's seen Killer Clowns from Outer Space, some of these trolls would look pretty familiar. You've got the Chiodo brothers doing the troll effects for this one. Like they looked awesome. We had a wide variety of cool looking trolls. The costumes were great. Each one was different. They gave the Garbage Pail Kids a run for their money. They were slimy as fuck. <laughs> When it came to the final battle, they're shooting bullets out of their mouth. But if we were to do a kill count, Ernest actually did the most damage versus Where did the he drone. Kill? The bumblebee. Oh, the crowd goes wild. If you get hit in the head with a bowling ball, you're fucking dead. Well, let's talk about the spooky aspect of this film. You look at that moment where the troll first comes out. There's lightning. You've got the, the shots of the creepy like treehouse with like the windmill turning. You see like the ominous like figure. That's scary. The part in the two where Kenny's like thinks he hears Elizabeth. Over here, Kenny. But the scariest scene, at least for me, that I'll always remember is when Elizabeth goes to look under the bed and when she gets back up, the troll is on the other side. That always stuck with me. Even growing up now, it's like, if I'm gonna turn over in, in my bed, I, for some reason, assume there's gonna be a troll or something just laying there waiting. I'm me. sure your wife is <laughs> pissed about that. Well, the scariest moment for me was the truck. It's hardly a jump scare, but a troll just lands on the, like, the front of the windshield. I was scared to shit of that back in the day. It didn't really affect me this time. Quick, troll away! <laughs> And if you want to hear our live reactions to all of this, check out our Patreon commentary because we did a full length commentary. I haven't watched this since I was a child. Check it out, links in the description. It's a fun time. What's also a fun time is that milk is a problem for these trolls. They will die if you spray it on them. So there's two things that hurt them. The heart of a child. A child's heart. <laughs> I would have just like pulled Kenny aside, rip out his heart Kano style and like toss it at the trolls. Kenny, not Joey. I don't give a shit who it is, uh, pick the dweebiest one. I thought it was a goner. <laughs> but the other way to take them out is with milk. Mother's care. Milk. That's it. Milk. And you're like, wait a second. They're talking about titties. Mommy milkers. This movie could have been off the rails. And I wish there was like an adult 90s parody film of this. We got Edward penis hands. We got evil head. Why wasn't there an earnest scared stiff? Mommy milkers squirting on trolls, I think is great. Unfortunately, that's not what we got. So I'm docking this movie a point. Whereas I'm giving it a point because we got one of the most memorable and hilarious jokes from it. When he's reading the book and you have M I blank K, and he comes up with Miak. Yeah, Miak. I bet you thought I couldn't find any this time of year. I, to this day, still call my milk Miak. It's he says Miak way too often. It's a quotable movie. Give me a qu another quote. Ew. <laughs> That's just such a generic <laughs> fucking earnest thing for you to say. Hey. <laughs> Can we just give a big shout out to Rimshot, best driver in the world? When he's driving, Ernest is in the back doing his thing. He does a terrible job. Little did you suspect that I am a master of hedge clip keto. But Rimshot's trying his best. Pause on the steering wheel. Oh my God. We also got to give a shout out to uh, Bobby and the gang. They're always in every single Ernest film. So of course they had a good part in this one. Have I got a deal for you. <laughs> as shop owners trying to like take advantage of Ernest. $1,749.98. Plus tax. Plus tax. Overall, this was a fun movie. I mean, it's for kids, but it was also entertaining. Looking back, obviously there's nostalgia for me, but if you hadn't seen this, I think you would still enjoy it because of just how random and ridiculous Jim Varney is as Ernest. The animatronics with the trolls and all of the makeups and goo are great. Devour the humans. 
There's some scary moments. I don't think it's the best Ernest film, but I do think it is worth watching. So I'm gonna give this three giant can openers out of five. <laughs> a bumper sandwich, booger lips. <laughs> I love this movie. Technically, there's probably a lot wrong with it that people are like, oh, the story's weak, or here's these plot holes. I don't care. I'm gonna show my kids this film. And it's like a tradition for me. Every Halloween, I wanna watch Ernest Scared Stupid. Every Christmas, I wanna watch Ernest Saves Christmas. Ernest has a special spot in my heart. I think everyone should check this out. It's got a little bit of everything for everyone. With that being said, I'm gonna give this film five troll traps out of five. Ah! As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it. Links are in the description to our Patreon commentary. It's a very fun revisit of this film. And if it's your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay up to date with everything here on Bloodbath TV. And we hope you have a happy Halloween.